Hi, this is Captain Rod, and welcome to another season on the water. Well, everybody's revved up about spring coming, whether you want to get out and wakeboard or just boat ride, pontoon ride, or of course I say the best for last, fish. Uh, everybody wants to get out and do it, and it's that time of year. And I'm going to make it even worse. I'm going to show you some footage that I shot almost a year ago, about 11 months ago, up on the Roanoke River in Weldon, North Carolina. Not only are people feeling frisky this time of year, but so are the fish. Take a look. What we're watching here is wildlife biologists capture striped bass during the annual spring spawning run. A special boat's used to stun the fish with electricity, and here's how it works. A generator on board sends current through the arms that you see sticking out the bow of the boat. After they're netted, the fish are placed in a recovery tank, and after they're measured, weighed, and tagged, they're released unharmed. These fish live in the ocean 11 months of the year, but every spring they travel 150 miles inland to spawn. These fish, especially the big females, come from all the way up and down the East Coast every year. Matter of fact, the two biggest fish tagged here last year were both caught within 60 days after they were tagged. One was caught off New Jersey and Massachusetts. That's some great footage from the Roanoke. And remember, the strikers here on High Rock do exactly the same thing. Whether we're talking about an ocean striper or a landlocked inland striper, they're going to go as far up the river as they can to spawn. So this spring, April and May, between the 85 Bridge and Idles Dam, you should be able to find them. And you've got them cornered. They're in the river and thick. So give it a try. And if you catch a 20 or 30 pounder, remember, the big difference in the fish here on High Rock and the ones on the Roanoke is that spawn on the Roanoke is a true spawn. Those fish become fingerlings, go back into Albemarle Sound, and grow up to be big fish. Here on High Rock, it's a false spawn. The only way to replace a striper here on High Rock is for North Carolina wildlife to produce a fingerling, bring it to the lake, and put it in. So next time you catch a 20 or 30 pounder, think twice before you take him because it's gonna take eight or 10 years to bring one back. I'm all for eating them fresh that night, but uh, stocking the freezer just takes away that same fun you just had from somebody else. Think about catching a release. I'm Captain Rod on the water. Thanks a bunch. Talk to you soon.